We first told you about the changes happening in Kalihi that would impact the homeless population. Today, we learned how one nonprofit is helping both businesses and people living on the streets. Sarah Madison follows up on what this means for the future of Kalihi. Sarah? Bridget, three new stores are filling up the old Kmart building in Ivile. And if you drive by on Nimitz Highway, you know that there is a populated homeless camp nearby. The Institute of Human Services is located next door and says it has a toolkit for companies to help them do business. A lot of businesses oftentimes feel emotionally hostage that, you know, just because a homeless person is on their property using the restrooms or maybe stealing pallets or boxes, um, that they don't have rights to actually protect their own things. Kimo Carvalho of IHS tells me he encourages businesses to work together with IHS. Uh, if it's not okay to be on their property, rather than just kicking them out, maybe actually asking them, hey, would you like to work with IHS? They're right next door, and we are willing to help and respond. We wanted to know what the bigger plan is to help the homelessness in the area. Carvalho says he's hoping the rail line through Evile will help. And we hope that transient oriented development adds a lot of housing inventory because really housing is a solution to not just homelessness, but really having value added to our community. We also reached out to urban and regional planning experts from the University of Hawaii. I'm told healthy communities include everybody from all income groups. Healthy communities normally have a full range of services that people need uh, from all, for all age groups, from infants to elderly. So this can include everything from mental health services and geriatric services to early childhood education and substance abuse treatment. Real estate analysts tell me the location in Ivile is good for business because of Nimitz Highway and how thousands of cars drive through that area in Kalihi every day. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.